God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. That's Psalm 46, verse 1. And in the next verses of that psalm, we see the beautiful illustration of God being our peace and our comfort in the midst of disaster. Verses 2 and 3, we see that even though the icons of strength, the mountains will crumble, the seas will rage, the waves don't just going crazy, but we have God being our peace. And in verse 10 saying, be still and know that I am God. Paul calls God the father of mercies and the God of all comfort in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. Sometimes we go through these things because we can experience those, we can rely on God and see his comfort, and then when other people are going through these things, we can also comfort them as well. Well, it's not, a, not an easy thing to go through. I'm sure you've been through a lot too. But see, we can either be like Jonah and run directly away from God, or we can be like Job and fall on our knees before God and seek his help. It's either pride or humility. And in disaster, may we all seek God and not run. Habakkuk, he was a prophet of God. It's a very obscure book from the Old Testament, but it's a, it's a wonderful one, also about suffering. Well, Habakkuk doesn't understand fully what God is doing. He's chastising the people with a more wicked nation than they. And yet, even at the end, he comes to realize and still knows He's an obedient prophet of God, but he still knows that even though the fig doesn't bear any, any figs, even though the vines don't bear any fruit, even though there are no sheep left in the, in the field, and though there are no, no livestock in the stalls, yet we still know that God is faithful and that he will yet praise him. And so that's my hope for you all. When you go through disaster, trust in God. If you know someone who's going through disaster, just be there for them. Be that incarnate love of God for them. Share the love of Jesus with them. Sometimes just listening is great. Other times, definitely pray for them. That's huge. Our power is in prayer. It's from God. It's not our own power and strength, but God can work through us. So, again, if you're going through disaster or you know someone who's going through disaster, trust in God, seek him first, and be blessed. And know that God, again, is our Father of mercies and God of all comfort. God bless you.